Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Explain Maths. Now in this video, I am going to solve memory based questions from the topic calendar. Okay, so you all know that in the aptitude section, there is one topic called as calendar. So there are two questions which came from calendar and this is really very important. So I'm going to tell you the answer for those questions. Okay. So this was the first question. How many leap years are there in 7th century? Okay. So 7th century doesn't mean that 700 years. Okay. 7th century means, so first you start from 1st century. 1st century means year starts from 1, 2, 3 up to 100. So there are 100 years. 2nd century starts from 101 and it goes to 200 years. 3rd century goes from 201 to 300 years. Same way 7th century will start from 601 year and it goes till 700 years. So in 7th century actually you have only 100 years. Okay. So now you have to find out in 100 years how many leap year will be there. Isn't it? So to find out the leap year what you have to do you have to divide it by 4. Isn't it? So if you divide it you will get 4 to 8. So you will get 25. Isn't it? But if you see 601 to 700. 700 is not a leap year. I have told you, right? The century year, how to find that whether it is a leap year or not. If the century year is completely divisible by 400, then only it is a leap year. But 700 is not divisible by 400. So actually the leap year will be 25 minus 1, which is 24. So there are 24 leap years. So option A is the correct option. Okay, so make a note of all those things. Now, same way if you have to find how many leap years are there in first century so first century 100 years so it is divisible by if you divide 100 by 4 you will get 25 isn't it but again 100 is not divisible 100 is not a century year so it will have 24 leap years same way but if you come to fourth century fourth century will also have 100 years and if you divide by 4 you will get 25 but here 400 is leap year isn't it because 400 is completely divisible by 400 so here you will get 25 leap years so if question comes how many leap years are there in 4th century or 8th century then it will have 25 other than that it will have only 24 leap years so hope now it is clear to everybody that uh, if question comes like that then how to solve it now moving to the second question and please remember century years will be a leap year if it is completely divisible by 400. Otherwise, it will be a normal year. Question number two, the calendar for the year 2007 is same for the year. So 2014, 16, 17, 18, these are the four options. Now, how to find that the calendar for the year, this will be same for which year? So for that, what is the rule? You start from 2007, 2008, like that you do and count all the odd days. If the number of odd days comes to be multiple of 7 or it is completely divisible by 7, then that year will become the same as the given year. So, okay. So, let's see how what I am going to explain. So, first 2007. 2007 is a normal year. So, it will have one odd day, isn't it? 2008 is divisible by 4. It's a leap year. So, it will have two odd days. Same way, 2009 will have one odd day. 2010 is also one odd day. Now, how I am writing odd day? If it is a normal year, it will have one odd day. If it is a leap year, it will have two odd days. So, 2012, it is divisible by 4. So, it, will, it is a leap year. So, it will have two odd days. Now, again, 1. This is also 1 and this is also 1. Now, in between, you add the odd days. If you are getting multiple of 7, so 1 plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 I am getting. I am not getting 7. It means I have to move forward. 8. 8 was here, then 9, 10, 11. So, I did not get till now multiple of 7. So, I have to move forward. So, 2016 again it will have 2 odd days and 2017 will have 1 odd days. Now, you count and see 1 plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, you got 14 odd days and 14 odd days if you divide by 7 it is completely divisible, isn't it? So, the year which will be same as 2007 will be the year after 2017 which is 2018. So, the answer will be D option. So, I hope it is clear now to everybody that uh, how to solve these type of questions.